Hey friends and welcome back to the channel for some more Project Zomboid content. In today's video I'm going to be sharing what I believe is the best build in the game to rack up those zombie kills for both beginners and veterans alike. This build will help you get from this to this. This build has got me over 20k kills numerous times and I think you guys are going to love it. So here we have the occupations and traits screen so this left side is where you will find your occupations. I'll try not to go into too much detail about each occupation and trait and we'll try my best to keep it as quick and concise as possible for you all. This build that I'm going to show you is what I like to call the Max Strong build. So the occupation that we use for this build is Fire Officer. Fire Officer is going to give you a point in Axe, a point in Fitness, a point in Sprinting and a point in Strength as well. Strength, Fitness and Nimble are some of the most important skills in Project Zomboid in my personal opinion. So getting a point into these as well as the 75% experience bonus is really going to help you out in the long run and will give you a solid start to Project Zomboid. So now that we have our occupation chosen, it's time to choose our skills. So the first negative skill that we'll be taking is Fin Skinned. Fin skinned increases the chances of scratches, lacerations, or bites breaking the skin. It is a risky skill to take, but it gives us a massive 8 points, so it's definitely worth taking. The next negative trait that we're going to take is high first. Water and fluids can be found everywhere in this game. If you do find that your water turns off early in the game, you will still have the leftover water in other houses. You will find it in sinks, bathtubs, and even in the toilets as well. You can even boil the river and lake water if you find yourself getting a little short as well. There is also the rain barrel trick that you can do, but that's another video for another time. With water being pretty much everywhere, this trait shouldn't cause you much of an issue. So next up is Slow Healer. Slow Healer means that you will recover from illnesses and injuries a lot slower than you would regularly. Just try not to do what I did and drive your car into a tree, as you may have to wait two months in game to recover from a fracture, and trust me, it is not a fun time. So Conspicuous is going to be our fourth negative trait. Conspicuous means that you are more likely to get spotted by zombies, which isn't really a problem for this build, because this build is meant for purely killing zombies, so attracting a few more shouldn't be much of an issue, especially of what we're going to be running in this. So the next negative trait that we're going to be taking is prone to illness. Prone to illness means that you are more prone to diseases and illnesses. So if you see winter coming, make sure that you either stay inside or you wrap up warm. Otherwise, you could end up with a nasty cold that will make it really hard to recover from and potentially result in your death as well. Smoker is the next trait that we're going to choose. A lot of people, including myself, actually see this as more of a positive trait. While you have the smoker trait, your character is going to lose stress when you have a cigarette, but they will require regular cigarettes. Cigarettes are another item that are in abundance in this game. If you are struggling to find them, make sure to check zombie corpses, check any desks that you come across, gas stations, and be sure to check glove boxes in cars as well. Weak stomach is our next trait. Weak stomach is another trait that I would say is free points as well. As long as you aren't eating raw, burnt, or rotten food, you'll be completely fine and it should be nothing to worry about as well. So our penultimate negative trait is going to be clumsy. Clumsy is going to make you make more noise. Clumsy also increases your footstep sound radius. And with clumsy, you need to be careful when you're sprinting towards fences as your chance to trip is increased and will more than likely result in death for you as well. Now it's time for our final negative skill. We're going to go with Slow Reader. Slow Reader isn't much of an issue in single player as you have the ability to fast forward time. Just make sure that if you are fast forwarding, you're doing it inside in a safe place where there's no zombies around. Now that we've named all our negative skill traits, it's time to go for the positive traits. So our first positive trait that we're going to go for is Cat's Eyes. Cat's Eyes is going to increase our vision at night by 20%, which is huge. Having Cat's Eyes is super helpful, especially if you've accidentally messed up your character's sleeping pattern and need to go out late at night or super early. So Cat's Eyes is going to be incredibly, incredibly helpful for that. Dexterous is going to be our next trait. Dexterous allows you to transfer inventory items a lot quicker and will really help you out if you find yourself in a sticky situation, like needing to pick up another weapon after your one has broken. Next up, we have Baseball Player. Baseball Player is going to give us a point in Long Blunt with a 75% experience bonus. Long Blunt's are weapons such as the crowbar and baseball bats, and personally, it's one of my favourite weapon types in Project Zomboid. So Gymnast is going to be our fourth positive trait. Gymnast is going to give us a point in Light Footed and a point in Nimble, as well as a 75% experience boost to both of these as well. So if you're unsure what nimble does nimble affects the speed at which you move when you're in the combat stance combat stance is when you hold down your right click to fight zombies as i mentioned earlier i personally believe that nimble is one of the most important skills in the game and is a must have to start out with keen hearing is what we're going to be going for next i highly recommend this skill especially for newer players keen hearing gives you a large perception radius which means any zombies that are approaching from behind will become visible to you a lot earlier this then means that you won't have to keep spinning around checking your six all the time and it will ease the pressure a ton trust me so for the final two traits that I've decided to go for, these are going to be strong and athletic. Athletic is going to give you four points into fitness, whereas strong is going to give you four points into strength. The higher that your strength is, the more weight you'll be able to carry. Strength also has a melee damage multiplier attached to it, so the higher your strength, the more damage you're actually going to be doing to zombies as well. Fitness in Project Zomboid influences your fatigue and how quickly you gain your endurance back. So if you find yourself fighting a ton and getting really tired, just take a seat somewhere and because your fitness is high, you are going to recover a lot quicker than as if it was on one skill point. So to summarize everything that we're going to be taking, so our occupation that we're going for 
is far off as well. For negative traits, we have gone for thin skinned, high first, slow healer, conspicuous, prone to illness, smoker, weak stomach, clumsy, and finally slow reader. Now for the positive traits that we went for, cat size, dexterous, baseball player, gymnast, keen hearing, strong, and athletic. So with all of these traits selected, you're gonna start with a point in axes, light footed, long blunt, nimble, and sprinting, which are all gonna have a 75% experience bonus boost to them. You're also gonna have max strength and max fitness from the get-go, which is gonna be a huge help, meaning you're not gonna to have to grind your way all the way up to max strength and max fitness. Don't forget that this build is meant for just slaying zombies and will take you a really long way. If you do decide to try this build out, please let me know down in the comments section how it went for you. I hope it helped you survive the apocalypse for a little while longer, or even helped to break your kill record that you've been struggling to get past. If you have enjoyed this video and it has helped you, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks friends, and I'll see you on the next one.